we like three miles outside of Long Beach right now. Uh, we in Hawaiian Gardens right now. Uh, it's hectic right now. A lot of bloodshed, a lot of murder, a lot of gang banging. But it's a lot of pretty women out there too. A lot of kids that's gonna be the future as well. So Long Beach is uh, it's on the rise. I was a football player like my whole life. Around like uh, 12th grade, I caught my first like case. I went to jail for a little little mini robbery or whatever. It fucked up like all my scholarships and shit. I had a meeting with a coach and he told me like uh, the most thing that colleges hate is a thief because you can't never trust a thief. And then I just started making beats and shit like that. But just wanted a better like, way out for my people. You know what I mean, the football route didn't work for me. So I just started making beats and shit like that, and I was already a rapper. The reason why I started making beats is because I was rapping first, and nobody wanted to give me beats. So I started making beats, so I just started doing both, and I started getting good. Yams, uh, he followed me on Twitter for something, and then, uh, Cause Vince, I think Vince was talking to him about me or whatever, he ended up hearing about me and then he followed me on Twitter or whatever. And then I just started making music and then just like, you know, I dropped my first meet, my, my, my first mixtape was just an EP. And then he heard it, which is Chipper Jones Ryan 1, the EP. He heard that shit and then uh, I DM'd him on Twitter like two months after it dropped, was like, yo, you still managing or whatever? And then he was like, yeah, and he replied with his number. I called him. And then when I called him, he was like, yo, I want to manage you, I'm going to fly out there. He flew out to L.A. like two weeks later. <sighs> he had me at Rocky Crib to work on my mixtape, whatever. It was pretty dope, though, yeah. It was dope because uh, I, watched, I, watched, I watched how Rocky blew up because um, like how it was on Wellstar and stuff like that. So it was like real crazy. Like I watched it, and the next thing you know, six, eight months later, I'm working with this guy, you know what I mean? Like, and we're close, like, it's not just like, I'm just sending him beats, like, we have a close relationship, you know what I mean? Like, me and him talk with each other, text, you know what I mean? He's very, you know what I mean? He works on our projects, like, we're very, like, hands-on, like, he's like our brother, you know what I mean? So, it's real dope, you know what I mean? It's dope, like, to really, like, watch him blow and then be able to watch him and work with him. We was in the studio with each other, we was working on a mob album, uh, mm -hmm. with, um, working on a mob album and shit. We got done with the mob, the mob album's done now, and then he's back out here now working on this album, and I'm about to uh, go to the studio with him again tonight. Yeah, I work with him, I work with him a lot. I basically, like, uh, I wouldn't say I taught him how to produce, you know what I mean, but I helped him, you know what I mean, we learned off of each other. You know what I mean, I learned some things off of him, too. You know what I mean, he taught me how to think out the box. He used to always tell me I had, like, studio ears and shit like that, like, yo, you just so used to making this sound. <coughs> I mean, like, let's do some different shit. Then he started having me think out the box and shit like that, and we end up doing like, you know, just different records, like shit that's on this instrumental album and sound like like some other shit. It's very instrumental and shit. This, this is where I live, you know what I mean? It's a struggle, I see it every day, you know what I mean? Like, you hear like my music talk about shootings and guns and stuff like that, like, and since you hear, you heard like three incidents of people talking about guns and shooting already. Like, you know what I mean? We came from nothing, so to still be here, to still be able, like, it's a blessing, you know what I mean? Like, if I could stay here my whole life, I would. If I could stay in my hood my whole life and no problems would come and I could get money, I'd stay here my whole life. Because it's where I, you know what I mean? It's where I come from. But we gotta move, you know, it's something better. You know what I mean? It's a bit more to life than just living in the projects, living in the hood and shit like that, so. It's influenced me a lot though with my sound. Uh, off this music shit, what I get off this music shit is not wealth. I don't get to enjoy my life. It's like being able to have my brothers, you know, be able to go to Hollywood, go to Venice Beach, they never been before, you know what I mean? Like to be able to have to afford to take them places like that or to Texas, you know what I mean? They never thought they'd leave the city, you know what I mean? And uh, to have them think outside the box, like my cousin them making merch now. Be selling dope, now selling t shirts, you know what I mean? That's to me, like, it saved my life already. Like, you know what I mean? People, we're thinking as a business now rather than our street mentality, you know what I mean? So, it did it already. Everybody thinking right, we all coming together as a unit now. We see that, you know what I mean? The prize that's ahead of us. So, we all becoming, like, real close with each other. So, it saved my life already. Yeah. Go on. Go. Dope. Yeah, wanna go inside out? Yeah, man. Yeah,